Welcome, and thank you for taking time to learn. This is a quick eight slide presentation about keys, which is a knowledge empowerment system. The eight slides include this overview page, then we'll do more of a description of knowledge empowerment system. Slide three, how do you insert micro SD card and play the videos? Four, sharing keys. Five, basic costs. Six, content review, so just repetition. System review, repetition, and then slide eight, uh, questions. So beginning on this slide with an overview, uh, my background is decades worth of volunteer work uh, in remote locations around the world, doing computer training with computer labs. But as time went on, I've tried to adapt to mobile phones. So now mobile phones are in the middle of every location you can imagine. And most people want a diverse education beyond computer training. So it's possible to take advantage of their mobile phones or to provide used mobile phones as, in essence, Android tablets with educational material. So that's quick overview. We'll go slide two, a uh, better description of Key's knowledge empowerment system. Uh, general idea is a micro SD card mm, that costs about $3 for 32 GB of content. Uh, you buy the blank card, you load the content you want. I've got example contents, math, science, English. That card can be inserted into a Android phone or tablet or PC if you can get one. There, with 32 GB, you can add about 1,500 videos from YouTube, for example. And it's possible to modify the content to match your target audience. Uh, what I provide is generic and what most people ask me for when I was volunteering. Slide three, inserting a micro SD card, and then how do you play the actual videos? Um, so it'll turn out almost every cheap Android has a way to insert a micro SD card. Either you pop off the back where the battery is located and you slide the micro SD card there, or there's a little pinhole on the side somewhere you push the little pen hole, you find an empty space, and then you drop in the micro SD card. When the card gets inserted into the phone, you're going to have to give it permission to use the card. So you have to say yes once. And then the way to play the video is you can use your default video player, or I provided uh, multiple apps on the card. So you could install uh, Android apps from the card without having to go to the internet. The two that uh, I found best were KM Player, the purple one on this diagram, and VLC, which is the orange one. The general idea is you open those, you install the video players, you open the video players, it'll say, do you want to index first time? So you say, yes, index the external card. It'll take a few minutes the first time to gather uh, thumbnails and data on the 1,500 videos. If you get a choice, say view them by folder so that they're grouped by topic area. So you got the card, you insert it into the phone. Once it's in the phone, you install the video players that are on the card, and then you can actually start viewing the videos. There's also apps, and if you can, if you need Windows software, there's a lot of portable Windows software that's useful. We'll go slide four and sharing keys. So the idea was to make it as simple as possible. In the, the picture you can see in the background, anybody with a high-speed internet connection has access to amazing education content, but there's billions of people without access to the internet or to the educational content in remote locations or resource-poor locations. So the person in the fast location downloads the content to their computer, places it on the micro SD card, they can put the micro SD card into an envelope and mail it anywhere in the world for one stamp. In the US, it would be a dollar fifty about. Uh, and then the person on the other side receives the envelope, takes out the card, puts it into any Android mobile phone they can find that's local and starts to share videos. It's also possible once it's uh, made it to a destination to share phone to phone without an internet connection and usually any child in the local neighborhood knows how to share things between phones without having to use data uh, as some kind of connection. Uh, slide five, we'll jump 
general costs. So if I bulk purchase on Amazon, uh, 32 GB micro SD cards, they're about $3 each. Uh, every year they go down. But the, the idea is choose the 32 GB because any Android phone can open it. If you go for bigger card, well, cards with more storage, uh, sometimes you run into a problem that an old phone can't count to 64 or 128. So I would go with 32 GB cards for now. Uh, you could supply an Android phone also. So a brand new Android phone at a local store here would be $30. They think you're going to activate the phone and that you're going to, in essence, be paying them for minutes. You don't have to activate it. You don't have to pay them for minutes. You can just use it as a brand new Android tablet running the current Android operating system. I've done it uh, in Haiti and trained in orphanages where I just brought five phones with me. Um, they can't really be used as phones, so they're not worth stealing. So it, it turns out it's a pretty safe way of doing training in remote locations. Uh, if you do mail the cards, then it's about $1.50 from the U.S. to anywhere in the world. And we'll go for slide six. Slide six, content review. So the key piece is the videos. The videos are accessible using your own video player on whatever device you put it into or KM player and VLC video player, both free, both really useful. And you organize things by folder. Somewhere in the options, choose view by folder so you don't have to look at a full index of 1,500 by alphabetical order. There's also a backup that I put on the card, which will display things as a website, a local website, not based on internet. And it has things uh, in HTML format. So you could use that to click uh, if you can't get the video players to do what you want them to. The tricky part is that, um, the video players adapt to new content and the fixed website information doesn't know how to adapt. So if, if possible, use the video players. Slide seven, system overview. Again, there's high-speed internet in multiple locations where people could download anything they wanted. If they downloaded, downloaded things like how do you clean water? Uh, how do you do first aid? How do you prevent disease? They could save thousands of lives. Uh, say somebody's trapped in a refugee camp, they don't have access to any education material. You download what you would want if you were trapped in a refugee camp and then put it on a micro SD card, put it in an envelope, send it anywhere in the world. Um, if you can find helping organizations like Rotary or Kiwanis or Lions, then they already exist with tens of thousands of locations around the planet, and they might help you to distribute the information. And the last slide will be questions. So a couple of them I wrote down is, where do I get more information? Uh, you could search YouTube or the internet, but there's two websites listed, earthteamwork.com and erotaryclub slash keys. Keys is Knowledge Empowerment System. How do I get a micro SD card? You can go to those websites, fill out a form, and uh, I can mail one to you or someone can. The, we try to go through some kind of established organization like a local Rotary or Kiwanis, just so the cards don't disappear. Multiple languages. Currently, it's English because everyone asked me to, they wanted to learn English. Uh, if you know nothing else but English, you can get a job usually. So that, that's what they were most interested in. You can download any content you wish. And so for Haiti, you could download French or Creole. Uh, you get to decide what you want to add. Uh, and then you spend the time to download what you care about. Bulk downloading. It turns out there's a whole bunch of free downloading options for YouTube videos. Uh, one of them is YT DLP, uh, but it takes a little while to learn. So there's much easier ones. And then your questions, you can post them on the websites mentioned previously or above on this slide, and we'll try to get you answers, or there may be answers posted there under FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions. So thank you for your time. It is possible to provide high quality education material around the entire world with the tools you have at hand right now. Um, you control the content, 
And there's people waiting. There's millions of people out there who need help, who want help with the most basic things. Like how do you use uh, ultraviolet light from the sun in a plastic bottle to purify water so they don't die from preventable causes? Or how does a virus move? You show them a little video and you save somebody's life. So I, I hope you get involved. Um, and thank you for taking the time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.